Now, uh, we look at robotics and artificial intelligence as uh, robots are coming to take your job, we were told. Well, uh, that's the fear of many as artificial intelligence seems to be taking over the world. The reality, though, is that machine learning and natural language processing and AI have been around for a while, but it's now becoming accessible to a wider range of people. AI chatbots are now freely available to answer your questions and even design your code. We'll find out more on how workers and business Businesses can leverage on artificial intelligence to become more efficient and rejoined by Philum Ho of uh, the tech company Apollo Studios. Philum, thank you so much for your time and thank you uh, again for the uh, opportunity to just discuss, especially when it comes to SMEs, where there is a big uh, thrust in terms of uh, boosting that, that sector of the economy, how bots and all of those can work. Or maybe we can even start with the definition of what a bot is. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you for having me. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead. Great. Sure. Um, yes, as you, um, there's obviously been a lot of um, uh, news around artificial intelligence and automation, and it really is a technology that is uh, coming to the fore now. Um, for automation, it really presents a big, a, a big uh, sort of. Uh, opportunity for SMEs and for all businesses. And the, the really good news is that uh, it's a technology that's increasingly becoming more affordable and it's becoming more usable and it's becoming more accessible. And we really feel like, um, you know, this 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 new wave of technology is, is gonna make a big uh, impact on the workforce. So I would really recommend that all, all companies um, start looking at it, investigating it and look at seeing how automation can play a role in their business. All right, um, maybe if you were to you give, a, give us an example, Philip, especially when it comes to sure. an administration, uh, administrator who has um, to organize the events or you know the diary of the manager and uh, uh, maybe whatever activities are happening in the office, it is a tedious process, sometimes even done manually yes. so, in people registering, yes. logging in and out. How does uh, the AI, uh, the technology that you're referring to, then make this process more efficient? Let me give you a concrete example. Um, and I think, you know, all businesses have suppliers, okay? And one of the big processes that we help companies automate as Apollo is we help them automate their processing their supplier invoices. So normally a company would get lots of supplier invoices and then they would have to capture these supplier invoices into their system. Um, and this normally requires quite a bit of administration for most companies, especially the, the, the bigger and the medium sized ones. And, and I would say even the smaller ones. Uh, a good example of using automation to deal with this is to have these invoices now come in and you can build a robot that picks up these invoices reads it using a technology called OCR, so it's optical character recognition, um, and then it, in effect, digitizes the data, and the robot can then input the data straight into your system to capture it. Um, and this then allows, I would say, the people to um, not spend time on mundane work uh, and, and to do you know, jobs that people are meant to do, which is a lot more creative. Um, so this is a process that we, we've helped quite a few uh, of our customers implement. And I think it's a really good example of what a, a robot can do. Um, if, you, if, you, if you take a look at, it, at any medium-sized company, they will process hundreds if not thousands of um, invoices every single month. Uh, previously, people would have a, a big department of administrators to do it. Uh, and these administrators would literally read an invoice and then double capture the invoice straight onto their system. Yeah. Um, now, no, no, I think I, most I, people I, can agree that, yes, yeah, no, I understand that it is about streamlining processes and uh, to increase efficiencies, but maybe you can take us through uh, what else the technology provides, especially in valuable business intelligence. You can now have more data, of course, right. in people that interface with uh, the technology. Right, right. So I think that's a key, that's a good point. Um, one of the things that you do as a business when you automate is you digitize your data. So let's go back to the previous example that I, I just mentioned. Um, now, when you process these supplier invoices now, in the past, you know, you would normally wait to the end of the month and then your administration team would capture these invoices and uh, then you would, you know, uh, normally it would be a big rush. Um, with automation, you can program it uh, to actually start 
as soon as you get an invoice, you can capture it. But what actually happens is that you capture the data and you digitize the data. So all of a sudden you have a sort of insights and, and sort of real time in, uh, sort of insights. Okay, so as it's coming in, then you can start building these dashboards around understanding, oh, this guy has paid me, this guy hasn't paid me, this is still outstanding. Um, and you really are able to sort of construct your business to react in real time. Um, so that, that is a, a, a very good benefit of uh, automating your business. And um, we've seen this have sort of multiple knock-on effects to the businesses that we've helped, that they get access to real-time in, real insights. Mm. And maybe what you want to do is also latch on to uh, municipalities and government because I think that is primarily where the biggest frustration happens where systems are not running efficiently or there's just mismanagement or lack of even critical skills. Do you even um, have conversations around that space? Uh, we just now were speaking to our reporter, Ronald Masinda, who is in East London. People are disgruntled there. Ratepayers are being charged exorbitant amounts in the thousands, which are inaccurate and incorrect. Right, and, and I think again, that is a great example. Anywhere where there's a lot of administration, where you really need to capture efficiencies, automation, using artificial intelligence, using tools like machine learning, uh, that natural language processing, all those things that you mentioned can really play a big role in terms of creating efficiencies. Um, you, you, you've seen the launch of ChatGPT and, and what that's done um, for lots of businesses. And you are starting to see all these technologies start getting uh, implemented into your day-to-day -day actions, right? Um, so uh, absolutely, um, government should no doubt, or, or any organization that's looking to create efficiencies should no doubt be using uh, tools like automation, which is pretty straightforward to implement. And, and you'd be surprised at how much lower the costs are these days than they were maybe three or four years ago. Uh, the technology has come a long way uh, and uh, being a, a, a rate payer and a taxpayer in South Africa, I would really encourage them to actually start looking at these technologies. All right, we're going to have to leave it there, Philem. Thank you so much for your time. That is Philem Ho, the CEO of Apollo Studios, talking about how you can use automated ro robotics or bot workers for SMMEs uh, to streamline processes and also to have the, the business run more efficiently.